And we're started. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Our temporary name for our podcast and fucking talks and our little shows and such that we are going to be having for now is the Goof Troop Podcast. Because we don't know what to call it right now. Hmm. But today, I am joined with one of my best friends, Juju. Say hi, Juju. Hi, I'm Juju. I like pizza. He likes pizza. Yeah. And we don't have a topic for today, actually. We just figured we'd wing it. We'd have some fun with it. We'll upload it. We'll see how it goes. How it goes. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so, a couple of things. I have just recently found out that one of my favorite artists is actually a, uh, what is it, a sex offender? Pedophile. Ped- yeah, a pedophile. He has been charged with sexually assaulting a nine-year-old girl and many other 14-year-old girls. So, not a good thing. So, I am shocked, and you guys may know him because he is trending on TikTok right now as South Park Mexican. I know, and I... I find it shocking. No one's talking about this. Like, no, I haven't heard this from anyone. I actually had to hear about it from my stepdad. Well, he walked in on me listening to South Park Mexican. It, it's a thing to think about. I feel like it goes really untalked about. It's like unheard of now for no reason. I find it very odd. Yeah. I personally think we need to do more research on the people who listen to. Like, their, their backstory, their backstory, things they've done in the past. Cause you don't, no, you just like their music, but you don't know what they've done before. Yeah, that's that's literally what my case was. So, because when you find out what they've done, it changes your whole outlook on their music. You, know? you hear their stories and shit, but their music, and then you see it from other perspectives. And your your opinion on it can change fast. <laughs> yeah, like it'll make you sick because the music you l- once loved brings back bad memories because you didn't know. Right. You know? Now we can't listen to that music anymore. When you do, it triggers that. And it's it's a heavy sh- it's heavy shit. It's disappointing, is what I think it is. Just very disappointing. I, I agree. So, me and Julian, aka Juju, as you guys will be knowing him as, um, we were very disappointed today. I forgot to describe it in one word. Um, but hopefully, we can push that behind us with the, the starting of our new podcast. Hoping that you can enjoy listening to it. We're hoping you can enjoy having it and coming in, ta- listening to our stories, listening to our past, listening to our life, and just have a good time. Have, have a what do they call it? Have a yarn. Have a yarn. Have a yarn. Have a yarn. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that actually come from? I have no idea. I don't know what you're talking about. I just you never heard of it? <laughs> yeah, have a yarn. Yeah. Sounds like something like <laughs> sounds, sounds like old people would say. Or a Canadian person. Or Canadian, yeah. Uh, I can't see a Canadian person saying that. I, I think it's Australian. Probably. Have you heard Laser Beam say it? No, I've heard uh, Fitz say it. Oh, probably not. Yeah, I, I heard him say I don't even remember where I heard him say it from, but. I heard him. I can't stop thinking about that today. I don't know why. It just won't sit with me. No. Um, I realize now we're actually really quiet. I should probably turn myself up. Just a little bit. Turn it up! I'm turning it That's up. the max, that's the max. That's not the max. I'm just joking. Have you seen TikTok? Right no, I don't, I don't watch TikTok that much. Why not? I, just, I mean, I just, some of it's annoying. Well, yeah, and you're, you're scrolling and you're scrolling and you're scrolling to find this next good video, and I never find that good video. I mean, it just matters what you like and what you watch more than once. Right. I just stick with Instagram, though. I'm yeah, I like Instagram Reels. I like Instagram. It's solid. I feel like Instagram Reels is very underrated because everyone sees it as, oh, it's a copy of TikTok. How's it a copy? Well, because doing what TikTok is doing is just on a separate side of Instagram. It's just... Like, it's the same thing, really. I can, I can see why people say that. It's just... I mean, you could say that with, like, the Snapchat thing. Um, uh, oh, yeah, they added that too, huh? Yeah. It's like, the, you go to the last slide. What's it like... called? Spotlight. Yeah, Snapchat Spotlight. Spotlight. It's yeah. just TikTok, where yeah. it's just what a video thing that, like, I, makes you no scroll, scroll, scroll. Yeah, no one does. It's weird. But like, yeah, no one... I think I think the algorithm with Instagram is a lot better. Personally, I think it's a lot easier to, uh, or better at finding out what you like. So, I think it may 
makes it a lot easier. Also, in case you didn't know, the shit we're drinking is called Dougie, our proud sponsor. And I really recommend you buy a drink. As you can see on the screen, it is code TBABY. In case you can't see it, uh, for any of you audio listeners just listening to it, not actually watching the video. But it really is an amazing product. But I'm very happy that I had the chance to reach out to them that they accepted me as a partner. It's, it's an awesome team. I'm really yeah, happy. and they're like, they're new, you said. Yeah, and yeah. Like, they're not overrated, and they taste good. They taste really good. It's it really, good. really good. Unknown brand, you know? Yeah, yeah. And no like, one knows about them. Yeah, it's really good. Hopefully we can change that, though. Hopefully we can make them a big thing. Oh, yeah. Because I grow, they grow, and has that grow. We grow. Amazing drinks, though. They're really healthy, as you can see with the supplement packs and all their vitamin B6, B3, vitamin C, and all that other stuff. All that other yummy vitamins that everyone so much loves. Yeah. Well, yeah. They put some pep in your step. Peppa and your step up. Yeah. Where'd that come from, too? I'm, I'm very yeah. curious with that. You see my big clown feet? Yeah. Yeah, my clown shoes. I'm not wearing shoes. I'm wearing dirty ass socks, bro. <laughs> it's okay. My, my feet are socks. crusty, too. Well, I just, I don't walk around wearing my shoes all day, so, and I wear white socks, so it just collects all the dirt and shit that's around my house. I'm sure other people can relate to that. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that was a nice bro. Huh? That was a good bro. Thanks. It was very solid. Like, yeah, I put it together for this podcast. For the podcast. <laughs> you can save all day. Hmm. I'm just gonna fart and shit my pants. I've been sleeping all day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. This, this podcast has been canceled because Juju has shit and fart. You <laughs> showed it. It's because oh. I've got that W. Hey, that W. The Literally. W. Oh. <laughs> So, Juju, yeah. I'm sure you're more than well aware. I don't have a clear coffee thing in my house. So you might be wondering, why the fuck is there a box of original donut shot coffee? Why is there a box of... I mean, let me go ahead and grab that. It looks drinkable. I mean, there's, there's I'll drink it. I'll drink some for the stream. Well, there's, there's no drinks in it. That's the thing. It's powder. I'll, I'll snort it. I guess this one has a hole, so that's not entirely... I would recommend it. You see how Dubby doesn't have any holes? It's because they're A tier. Or S tier, matter of fact. There is your proof that Dubby is. They don't have any holes in their container. They don't have holes in their container. (laughs) (laughs) They're in coffee cups. Anyways, so funny story. My girlfriend, she sent me what was supposed to be a bunch of veggie straws. She knows I really like veggie straws and chips. And when I opened the, the bag, that I got this instead, somehow. You got pranked. <laughs> yeah, I really did get pranked. Hey. Uh, I don't know how. She got pranked, really, because I didn't know what I was going to get anyways until she had it right. Like, thank you for the scary coffee stuff. I don't know why you thought I had a scary coffee maker. Woo! Very cool. Yeah. Very satisfying to shake. No way. Just, just my opinion. Also, I'm sorry for my dog barking in the background. He's kind of an He's asshole. a happy dog. He had some dubby, and like, it got him going, you know? Make sure he snorted every bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> no dogs are hurting the making of this, this podcast. I put it in my dog's food every day. It, it really it really makes them, like, act a little funnier, you know? It makes them really happy. I feel bad when I put them, like, their daily dose of uh, dubby energy. I want some chips. Yeah, they're practically empty, but no. Oh, that's loud. Oopsies. No apologies. Oh no! Like, drop one. Drop the chip. Don't eat it off the ground. Don't eat it off the- Look at the fucking ground, it's filthy. Don't. I don't know why I didn't just look at you eat it. I looked at you eat it to the screen for some reason, but... <laughs> <laughs> it was, it's not that bad. I, I it was a 10 second roll. It's not that bad, it's just... Did you say 10 second rule? Yeah. Did you grow up off the 10 second rule? Yeah. What? Yeah. I've never heard of that in my family. We use the 5 second rule. I said 10, I don't know why. <laughs> it's... I, I think the 10 second rule is like... What people who... I don't know. 
Really but like you can give me some of this. I would actually love to buy you a package. If I'm just, I always have to buy myself more. Should I dip this pizza in the dough? No. It'll be best. <laughs> it, it, it'd get all over the fucking grease. I'll just dump some on. I'll eat it. I'll pass it. It's Why not? It's a waste of pizza. Just... It's a waste. It's, it's, it's a waste of my W. That shit's expensive. You no way. I'll eat it. Not, no. <laughs> I refuse. I don't care if my bus goes for it. So I have a really ghetto ass setup, by the way. Um, as you can see, the mic that we're talking into right now, which we're not even actually properly talking into, we're, we're talking by. Um, it's on a, t it's on my table. <laughs> or not, not even Along a table. with this beautiful dubby we have here. To showcase the um, beautiful microphone we have. Very high, high quality. What are you, why are you caressing my dubby bottle? I'm just, good luck. It's like the Buddhas that you like rub their bellies and like, mm, they give me good luck. Good luck. You like that, baby? <laughs> Does that feel good? <laughs> oh god, where, where are we? That's huh? Okay. It's Robert Gucci. Oh, yeah. sure. Um, ah, what have you been up to recently? Like, what have you Me? Been, yeah, like just every day for the last week, what have you been doing? Today? Mom? Playing this totally awesome game for honor, <laughs> which makes me so happy and so ecstatic to play. It makes it tires me out. It makes me think happy thoughts, you know. Very happy thoughts. That's what and it would make me even more happy if I had some W. <laughs> yeah, if you had W, you'd kick so much more ass in that game. You wouldn't be so less as Dookie booty. <laughs> it actually. If I get um, high enough in the what they call uh, the, um, W levels in their Discord, that way I get access to, by the way, because only partners with W get access to. <clears throat> but if I get a high enough level, I get to participate in the helping of creations of W flavors. Dude, w what, bottles. a watermelon flavor? Is there is a thing already? I don't think so. That would be a really watermelon good, flavor? We should totally make a watermelon flavor. I was actually thinking because. A lot of like energy drinks, like the famous G Fuel. And, uh, oh, they'll make like drinks that say like whatever, like cookie dough or whatever. Right, and it'll right. taste like a different flavor. It won't even taste like cookie well, dough. Well, not even that, but they the flavor that they always leave out for like the seasons and stuff, like Halloween, they never have like a pumpkin flavor. Why hasn't no one made like a pumpkin spice energy drink? That tastes good. I bet it would. You know, I, no one's really talked about that. I think I really like pumpkin. I really do. Like, have you ever like a pumpkin latte? I have had a pumpkin latte. Well, Dutch Bros. Where from? Yeah, see, Dutch Bros. ones are really good. That, I don't know. Okay. Let's, this shit getting spicy. Need some my W. W will take on any burn. I'm gonna slip this shit down like a Fortnite thing. Yo, you just get a. Is that a. Uh, what are they called? I don't remember how. Minis? Or the slurps? Is that what they call Slurpees? Slurps? I'm not gonna do that. Slurp juice? What, what, what are they called? Good is what I call it. Well, that's what they call W, but like the slurp, slurp bottles? What are they called? Potions? No, they aren't potions. They're like slurp, um... Splashes? They don't have like a certain name, but just called like minis, or like... Well, there was one. Was small like potion. Oh, shit, And you like slowly recover like HP and shield. And the, the shit you splash on the floor. It, no, that, that's the newer one. I'm talking the old, old ones where you, they, you drink it, and it gave off that same effect. Slurp. That's right, they were called slurps. Yeah, slurp. That's right. A slurp flavor W. We need to make a slurp flavor W. <coughs> Dude, Fortnite's dead now. Okay. No, no, that's not dead. It's still get like, more fans too, I think. I get Maybe. Investment. I, well, I don't know, I haven't actually been keeping up with Fortnite. <coughs> Damn, this shit is too good. <laughs> no, it's like you're half through your bottle already. You've been spending more time drinking and talking about W than talking about life, you know? What? About life. Well, yeah, life. You seem to, uh, really have gotten lost in thought there. I'm just thinking what my dog's doing. <laughs> what is the dog doing? Ladies and gentlemen. 
In case you guys don't know, Juju is not does not live with me. We're not roommates or anything. Yeah, we're brothers. He's lying. <laughs> he keeps me in the <laughs> basement. <laughs> he lives like what two, three towns away, something like that. I, I sure. Really... That's why I'm I a special guest. I don't. <clears throat> and I'm literally special too. Special, special guest. Special, special guest. I'm a special, special guest. <laughs> Do you think that's a, been a joke already been made? Probably. Eh, yeah, it's still funny. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Show it, pizza. Huh? Pizza. Oh, you already had two pieces. No, what? talk about it. Oh, okay. What's the worst topping, I think, that you Broccoli. Had? Really? Not sardines? Oh, fuck sardines, dude. Yeah, sardines are nasty. That's fucking foul, like... That's... <laughs> who ruined that, dude? I think the people who... The pineapple haters and whatever else, and the people who like hate pineapple flavor. I think only left aren't arm people like sardines. <laughs> they even like they pull, they open their like fucking sardine can with their left arm, like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like well, yes, some sardines. I bet uh, I mean, not all left, not all left hand people. Are bad. Yeah, I mean, you know, remember Brad, right? How weird he was. Right, but like he's left handed. <laughs> <Not, laughs> like, left handed person is like that. Actually, I take well, I take that back. My uncle Jake's left him, and he's a good guy. Oh, yeah. Now we stomp, stomp it in. <laughs> you do not stomp it in. Put some of these on it too. <laughs> I mean, he's some fucking plastic. <laughs> Tastes good. Like a goddamn fucking fish. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the turtles. <gasps> We're canceling you for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Remember? Remember everyone was talking about sick turtles. Yeah, especially you know, Jayla. Oh my god, yeah. She was crying over the one video. <laughs> well, it was, a, it was an international thing. You know, like... It wasn't I just... fucking love dogs, bro. Dogs are the best animal. They can swim. They swim again. <laughs> save a dog? <laughs> yeah, save a dog. Save... Yeah. This guy's not good. That's, a, that's an Elden Ring reference. Yeah. For your nerds out there. <laughs> Free fellow Thomas. <laughs> I got my fucking pit... Should I eat it? Nope. Put you rub your toes on it and I'll sleep that shit. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no. Damn, that shit crunches on God. Mm -hmm. Shit smacks. Like you love you right here. That shit off the Oh shit, I'm fucking, this is not even branded. This is a, my special. <laughs> joking. This is supposed to. Not well, how I'm farming. We're 17 minutes in, we're supposed to do like a two hour long podcast. Oh, well, that's fine. I guess we can't refill that shit. I guess I can. Right. I was pissing it. <laughs> it still tastes good, it's heavy. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. Yeah, it probably would. <laughs> this shit old. New idea for you. Oh, the, yeah. Mm hmm. Look at that. Should I eat it? No. No fucking dive in that shit. Man, this is sugary as fuck! How'd it taste? This tastes like anything, actually. Honestly, yeah, this I got sugary somehow. hands. This isn't just like sugar anymore. Mm. It's like dust. <laughs> Honestly, how come all the fucking dust is fucking? No, no, I'm gonna get fucking cancer and die. <laughs> Fucking all the dust might start entering your body right now. Why does dust mites make dust sound so much worse? Just the mites? <coughs> like it's little like, bugs? Yeah, but it's like little bugs. <coughs> what do you think of pudding? Pudding sounds good right now. It depends on the kind. Butterscotch. I like fucking rice pudding. Rice pudding? Mm -hmm, like the Mexican ones? I like the rice cakes too. Those too, yeah, yeah. Like, I get lost in thought so much, just like thinking. Well, I, th I think thinking, thinking is crazy, bro. Well, like just thinking in general, like you can have like your own little world inside your head. Right. You mean like. Well, thinking is a. How, if, someone get, if someone walked up to you with no brain and said, Came. What's, what's, <laughs> if Kamen walked up to you and said, what's thinking? What are you gonna say? I only think of thoughts. 
I can take him one of, one of two ways. I'd say he has like a realm inside your head. Like, you know when you go to sleep and you have a dream, like, right. you'll be in the moment. That's all life is, though. Like, you're always in the moment, though. But... but sometimes, I... sometimes you'll have, like, this peaceful aura. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll be drifting, like, just like... Woo! Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the best way to put it, though. Like... I feel like you're a stoner in the movie. Me? Yeah. Why? Because you're like... You know, sometimes... Your aura is just like... Mm hmm. It's so peaceful sometimes. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, totally. Oh, shit, no. It's still good. Don't eat it! That's <laughs> joking. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a shame you guys missed that. Yeah. That's a shame. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nom nom. <laughs> dude, like a banana flavor would be good. Oh, banana flavor would be so good. Banana flavor, like. I oh. heard the new dub slug flavor. I never actually checked it out though. I've heard like really mixed things. Like Grass flavor. That'd even be good. Grass flavor. <laughs> milk flavor. <laughs> fucking <laughs> milk flavor. W. Milkshake. W. I think a fruit punch would be good. I think that's kind of what this is, no? That's lemonade, not fruit punch. Well, that's that's true. I'm, I'm sure they have a fruit punch. Flavor. What's your thoughts on currency? Like Fine. money. Because I see it as a piece of paper, but... Right, right. Everyone sees money in their own way. Money, what is money, you know? Money is something that we make up with value and really doesn't have any. Dude, why? Money's not really anything, if you think about it. Who made a money money? Yeah, we made money. We just, like, we gave a piece of paper value. That's, that's fucking so that, sad. That's fucking sad. We gave a piece of paper well, more value well, than a person. Well, the way we did it is because we needed something to have a value to it. And if this thing had we had a value, right? We have a working economy in a, a fair a way to we made trade. We need a trade, so we need to make up something with it. This was currency. We gave a paper a, a value on it, so that way people would be like, "Oh wow, this is really good. Give us all of your wheat, and we'll give you two of these really awesome bills. Two of these really cool goats. <laughs> this one does flips." <laughs> <laughs> This one can help you do yoga. This one, yeah, this one's named Steve. <laughs> fucking Steve and Frank, dude. Steve and Frank the goat? Let's talk about pugs, dude. I fucking love pugs. Pugs are awesome. I and actually that, think pugs are No, awesome. dude, my girlfriend has a pug named Frank. And I used to have a pug named Frank, but he ran when got ran over my semi truck. Dude, remember Georgie? Oh, I miss Georgie. Georgie was such an awesome pug. He was like a samurai pug. He was blind, but he knew who you were. Yeah, somehow. Oh, dude. Sounds cool. Imagine being blind. Fucking loser. <laughs> Don't make fun of George, he's dead. You can't do that. Rest in peace, Georgie. And your eyes. I love pee for all my homies that lost the motherfucking life. <laughs> all my homies that died in the war. Rest in peace. What? Man, fucking war, dude. We should talk about like, the color thing. Like the aura or whatever. Oh, that's right. So. Everything has its own color, you know Even food. Like, when yeah, you eat a food, food, you see colors. Like, if you see green, you think healthy. Right, right, you right. see red, you think hot. That's, that's true. What if you see blue, you think tasty. But what about yellow? Piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or yeah, lemons. That's what I think of. I just, I just <sighs> piss. What if, like, life gives you lemons, but you don't like fucking lemons? When life gives you lemons... Can't life give you lemons? <laughs> When life gives you lemons, you throw them back at life. You should fuck the lemons. Why the fuck do I need lemons? Give me oranges or apples. I don't need fucking lemons. I don't need fruit. Give me the cash. <laughs> Bag chaser. <laughs> nah, man. Fuck oh, talk about the colors again. Like, that's what a person like looks like. They like that color. Or not even looks like. Just like gives off that vibe. Right. Like, Everyone like, gives off a, or a color. Like, like, if you think like an angry person, you think red. Well, it's or often orange. your favorite color. Mm -hmm. Like, you, what you imagine someone's favorite color is the color aura they give off, so like, streamer watching, or viewer watching this right now, right, I, I don't know what you look like, I'm gonna make a picture right now, you have a beard, really big beard, and, and you're built like a tank, cause you drink W. Like an absolute tank, cause you have W on your side, and you use code, uh, T-Baby to get 10% <laughs> of your order. Yeah. So you're obviously ripped, and you have, like, just this awesome stash. 
you are packing chops. Yeah, horse fucking meat. Packing that meat. <laughs> You're fucking ready to fucking take a fucking line of blow. You're just absolutely jacked, right? Your just aura, picture that Chad guy on TikTok, the Chad, the Giga Chad. Yeah, Giga, that's, that's the weakest W enjoyer. That's that's our weakest W. <laughs> 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 you guys, I promise we're we're also as strong as him. Just we, can, we can't show it because it's, it's, it's all inside. It's our it's our energy, it's our, dude. It's our it's the it's only when we eat a <laughs> bottle of W. Like, it's pizza. like they eat the powder. Just dude, to... <laughs> if you buy this beautiful product right here and eat pizza with it, that will change your fucking. That life. actually, yeah, I noticed that. That was actually really good. Was really fucking good for a combo. Pizza flavored W. Combo. No. Yes. <laughs> Just, just the pizza. Oh, you know the little gummy pizzas you used to buy from like Knowles? Or like, oh, yeah, like the little That flavor in this. That would, gummy pizza, oh shit, that would actually be slap. good. Slap. That was slap, bro. Mm -hmm. That's slap ass. Slap, big fat, juicy slap but not fat, but juicy ass. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, fucking. Just a gummy flavored W. Gummy W. Gummy W. Gummy W. I heard you drink all mine. I'm gonna die from starvation. We're not starvation. No. Um, Star station. Star station. <laughs> Star Star station. station. <laughs> um, Why is that so funny? It's just funny. Tharsht. <laughs> I'm real tharsty, guys. I need I need some I need some water. <laughs> I mean this would be a good pre-workout. Yeah, it could, yeah, it could be. Well, because it's up in your senses, you know, your reflexes and shit. Yeah, dude. I feel like along with your metabolism, doesn't it have shit that boosts your metabolism in here? Yeah, I feel like I can run faster in a fucking Jaguar after drinking W, you know? Okay, okay we're, we're doing yeah, that way. Go outside and find Jaguars, you poke their bubble and run away, just sort of thrill them. But then I can feel, like, intimidated, like... We intimidate the Jaguar. Because we're just W. We're just w. <laughs> Airheads that are, like, three months old. <laughs> Dying on Mito crumbs on a pizza. That's a weird thing. Mustard flavored W, I'm joking. No! Uh, <laughs> Ketchup and mustard. What about like a. Grape? Is that grape? Sorrow flavored W. Sorrow? Sorrow. <laughs> Depression flavored W. Depressed W. Um, no, that's not what it's uh, about! Oh, w is about good vibes. Hey, hey, watch where you smack that thing. It's okay. Oh it's okay, baby. It's okay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like fighting over a girl, but it's actually everyone. Everyone it's like, like who overhears us is just like, I wonder who they're fighting over. Man, she must be really hot. If you got two guys like the no fucking over it, and it's dubby. actually just dubby. Dude, this shit smacks. Dubby is actually fucking awesome. I genuinely guarantee you. I genuinely you, like it. If dude. you buy dubby, you will fucking enjoy the hell of a product because that shit is really fucking good. Like honestly. I wasn't expecting a whole lot out of it. I, I was yeah, because really like, of the spots yeah, it's not a no brand. Right, like, it's, it's good. It tastes very good. Popular and shit, but God damn it, man! I was very, very happy, and I was very pleased. It's that. orgasmic. <laughs> very orgasmic. Just, he, he said. No, dude, so you cool. drink this, you'll fuck like a racehorse. He said it here, man. Just right here, right now. I'm thinking thoughts right now. <laughs> Anyways, off topic. Uh, you guys like quarters? It's like lasagna. Not quarters. Like, so. Lasagna is actually not bad though. Dude, lasagna with hot sauce? Yeah, that's just good. Fuck. It's okay. Nah, lasagna. Oh, dude, sauce. you know what game I want to play right now? Watch Dogs. Dude, Watch Dogs is such a good. I, I think they fell off though. They did. After Watch Dogs 2, it was. With a new one, it wasn't shit. that good. Yeah. Number two was actually really good. Number two was good, but after that, the first one was always gonna be the best to me. I wanna play Assassin's Creed too. I don't, I don't really like Assassin's Creed. Why not? Like, I like the parkour mechanic, I always thought it was really cool, but I, it was one of those games I played for like four days and I got really bored of immediately after those four days. Oh, yeah. Dude, like, games lately have been like, like, like mid, mid, really mid. And like, when I was like, like, like 10 years old, like, every game would hit. Right, Every right. game, I could play that shit for hours and hours. I, I feel not like, get bored of it, but I, I think that's exactly part of growing up. Yeah. I'm just part of growing up. You have like, you get shorter, yeah, shorter attention span, cool. yeah. Well, I feel like the, like, only games, or game actually, that really was good, like, at all as of recently, is fucking Elden Ring. I think that's the only game I can Elden Ring is fun. Elden but I've replayed that game, like, like, over 20 times. 
And like I'll do the first part, I'll like get the starting point, get all that shit. Mm-hmm. But I think that's just the speedrunner in me. Uh, and that just takes the fun away because you know what's happening next. Right, right. That's the point of like games <laughs> like that. Like if they made a game like where it mixed it up, or, like something happened differently, like the same. They're not even like the same thing, but like they mix it up like a different sequence. Mm-hmm. Uh, Make a different story every time. I, you, you say you started, but like that's why I like games where you pick your like own decisions that change yeah. the outcome of the end. I, I love like Undertale. Have you played um Until Dawn? I have played Until Dawn. Yeah, that game was that game was a trip. It was fun too. It really messed with my head. But not nah, Undertale. That was a really cool game because you could change so much about it every single time you played it. That's something different. You know? Never got yeah. the same ending every time, or same thing, the same playthrough essentially every single time you played it. And to this day, I don't think I've gotten the same playthrough every single time I've just played. It. Yeah. I mean, that's probably because, like, we pick the same thing every time because we know the outcome, but that's that's weird. Yeah. That's weird. But we never want to, like, we want to stay in our company zone a lot. Mm-hmm. Then when we're forced to leave it, we're uncomfortable. <laughs> right. So it's, it's a different place every time. Why is this camera maker look jacked? Shoo! It's got a toner on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait. Lucy, 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 Lucy. Whoever made that sound is a die. For real. Lucy, 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 they're the meanest, or like because they're light skin. Well, they're also the fattest. Fattest. Like they have the biggest bellies, you know. Yeah. And then all, all white ones are the ones that talk the most shit. The black ones are the cool ones. I want them one. I, mean, I don't. I don't think I've ever seen a, like a not. not or, you remember Roxy? Yeah, yeah. She was chill. Yeah. Dude, she likes everyone, bro. Yeah, most of most black chihuahuas do. Yeah, she was a a something Chester Chihuahua. But like she liked coffee, but like, not actual coffee. But, like we used to go with Dutch Bros a lot, and like the people there loved her. Right, right. And they'd give her like a little puppy coffee thing. Oh, like so the cool. ice cream, yeah, yeah, like that. yeah. Those shits are so good. I love Dutch Bros for that though. Dude, people are so nice. Some people are, but some people are just mean. Some people are just really aggressive well, people, really angry people. Okay, man. <laughs> but he has a reason because he has well, all that. Yeah, he has all that anger locked away. But when have you seen him actually get mad before? He'll explode. He like, fucking pops off. Yeah. I love I got a death, bro. Mm-hmm. I wish things turned out better for him. I, love, I wish things turned out better. He deserves it, man. He deserves it. Deserves what? A fucking thanks for turning out better for him. Oh, I thought you said he deserves it. I was like, what? No, he doesn't fucking deserve that. He deserves ah. everything. <laughs> he deserves to have a shit life. That's the way it is, man. Dude. Man, I can't. Man. Cayman's an awesome person. He's you know how they say, like, your decisions impact your life? Right, right. That depends, like, if you do something, like, serious. Right. If, if you're doing something serious, you know, like, it, it gets to a point where it's like, what that decision is, that serious decision can impact your life. But like, right now, if I said butthole instead of asshole, it's gonna make zero difference. Hey, you think of an anus. The vectorial gland. Like, the call it. <laughs> the dark, the whole, the, the, the whispering the, eye. The whispering eye. <laughs> It, like pulls you in, you know. Have you, have you just naturally been referring to it as the whispering guy? No, I think it's just funny. <laughs> that is pretty funny. I'm not super bad. Man, I what that TV, dude? That's something we need to discuss. TV, TV. Oh, TV. Oh, definitely, dude. Mm. Do you remember like waking up in the morning, like watching Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network? And yes. like the best shows on, and like you're like just trapped, like just sitting <laughs> you, there watching the TV. Do you and like time will pass, it'll be like two, <laughs> two p.m. And it'll like you wake up at eight. Right. And then some shit one will come on, and that'll make you, you lose all the interest. Do you remember when you wake up too early and it's like four in the morning, three in the morning, and the adult swim is pulling that trippy ass commercial? Dude, like, like that, I've, I've questioned my sanity from those. <laughs> dude, I had, I had so many, like, nightmares. Oh, because remember, like, it knew we it said we knew, and we know you're a kid? Yeah, dude, that's that shit's true. scary. Uh, they know. <laughs> they know, dude. I miss it. I they know people wake up late, man. Mm. I remember watching Adventure Time a lot. And I remember this one episode oh, shit, about, you, you know, you. Dude, Marceline 
like changed my opinion on girls when I was young. Because <laughs> when you were little, it was like, dude, she's so fucking hot. You were like, oh shit. Girls play the guitar too. That's because she's like goth girl, you know, and that was that's the whole vibe. Now. That made that made me attractive to people like that. Right, right. You're quiet. I like quiet. <laughs> I think a lot of people are quiet. I like when people are quiet, but no one to talk. Yeah, exactly. That's a good point. Like, I, I, I love my girlfriend. My yeah, girlfriend we still, I love her to death. Like, like, you get it. Yeah. They are, they're quiet, obviously, especially around others, right? Not around you, though. You know, you know like quiet, that. less touchy. Right, right, right. Yeah, because they, it's special. My you girlfriend's know. very touchy, even like around her mom and shit. She, her mom doesn't <laughs> like it. She's just sitting there like, stroking your shit. <laughs> Fucked. Nah, man. It's different. It's cool. Remember that like, Christmas feeling? Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about because I was literally feeling that just today. This morning I woke up and I seen a Misfits like Christmas kind of video and it has that cool stick to it, you know? And I was like, I, heard drink fuck, I miss the feeling of Christmas, man. Especially when I was younger. Right? I, mean, I, I remember oh, toys, shit. when toys were I, the shit. I have a YouTube video up on my channel right now from when I was really, really, really little and I was like all about like making YouTube videos and it was the coolest thing to me, right? I thought I was famous for making YouTube videos. Oh, dude, that's so fucking awesome. Right, right. And now whenever I go back on my YouTube channel, there's a video called It's Christmas or some shit like that. And it's me opening my Christmas present or showing off the Christmas presents I opened. That's fucking cool. Yeah. Cause you see your growth from that. Yeah, exactly. You can see the difference. How much you matured, right? how like happy you were. Exactly. You know, in the right. Christmas spirit. Yeah, that's literally Christmas spirit. Dude, that's trip. That's trip. I feel like that if I need, if there's the slightest chance of our uh, podcast being enjoyable. It's because it's gonna be relatable, you know. Yeah, I feel relatable. Like, I feel like you guys should be able to like listen and be like, man, I know exactly what they're talking about. I know that exact Christmas feeling they're thinking about. Like, the whole like waking up in the morning, knowing it's and thinking, oh my god, is it snowing? Is it not snowing? Is it snowing? Is it not snowing? Or getting to skip school because there's too much snow. You know that feeling when it rains on Halloween? Yo, but like not too hard either. But like just enough for it to be enjoyable. You know? Yeah, but it's poured before. And like I used to like do like skeleton make- makeup and shit, it just fucking come off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like my costume be covered. In, uh... I, oh man, shit, I love, I love. Well, it's about the Christmas spirit, like just the innocence you wear. Right, you're... right. Well, the thing is, every fucking this is sad, but every single year that passes, you slowly lose more and more and more and more of that Christmas spirit. Yeah. Because you're less innocent, and you're more mature, and you get a better understanding of what the real world is like. But when you were younger, you were like, you didn't have that. It was only. Remember when your parents wrapped your presents? Right. Now they just kind of give them to you. Yeah. yeah. They give you money too, because like right, they, don't, they don't. They don't, don't want to fuck you up your gift, you know. But to me, a, a, a bought gift is more meaningful than cash to buy one. Yeah. Because that just person they knew what you liked or knew what you liked. They, well, they like, just they picked it for you. Not even whether they knew it or not, but it's the fact they put effort into it. Yeah, guess that's a good that point. They think they like this. It shows that they're putting in effort and they're trying to show that they actually pay attention to what you say and what you have. Your likes and dislikes. Right, right. They, they pay attention to you. And it shows it's more meaningful of a gift because they put more thought into it. Exactly. It has like a touch of them in it. Right. It, it's, it gives you a sense that this person cares and this person does Yeah, that's just caring. Right. People don't even do that more. That's though. why I don't like giving people money unless it's like for something small. Like, like my girlfriend, right? I'll buy her all her gifts and shit. Like I don't, I don't be like, here, here's some money. Knock yourself out. Buy yourself something you like. I buy her her gifts. Unless yeah, that's like, just not like. Right. Unless she's like, hey, there's this really cool store around right where I live. They have these cool things. I want to buy one of them. But I'm not sure what I want to buy, but I can't have access to that store right without giving money. Say, hey, get yourself something nice. Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that's crazy that's, to think about. So another thing, another. So imagine, say. Six, not six, I feel like six is too much, but like four years from now, right? Four years from now, my Twitch stream has paid off. This podcast is popular now, and we're still doing it six years from now, or three years from now. And I'm getting paid to do, what I, to do what I love, right? Yeah. Now, I have my own schedule. I have my own money to be able to spend on my girlfriend and their shit. And it's family, you know, and get gifts for other people. And I have my own, I get to, no one can tell me when and what to do 
because I didn't do my own job. I'm my own boss now. I have my own hours. Yeah. And it's something I love, so it's not even really a job. It's just playing games, you know? And that's why I think that that's the beauty in live streaming and YouTube and stuff. Like, people are getting paid to play a video game whenever they feel like it. They just talk to people, you know? Just That's literally living life. Just having a good moment, living in a good moment and talking to others and expanding, right? That is something that a lot of people can't get, you know? Yeah, people don't appreciate life, life, like, just, like, being born. Like, imagine, like, someone else had your place. You wouldn't even be on this earth. You wouldn't right. even be, like, a thing. Well... Imagine if you were born as a dog. That'd be pretty sweet. Like, well, but The reason why people don't get, like, super, like, happy to be lived on this earth is because the life they've been given isn't as great, you know? Like, you know, I've heard before, I've heard, like, the soul picks which life's going to be the saddest. Isn't that crazy to think about? That is a, that's a thought, dude. That's a thought. I hit the front. <laughs> I don't know why. Because means... you're gonna be born into like a family, mm-hmm. and like the family's gonna have, they could have problems, they could have good, they can have good things happen to you. Well, ignorance is bliss as well. Having so, a good parent is a lot of things. So right, like that you... makes sure. You well, can... that's not true either, though. I mean, you can, yeah. have, you can have fucked up parents and have a great life because maybe you blocked them out, or maybe you. Oh yeah, and you've learned from, from their back. lessons. Right, right, right. So some people are very happy to have a shit parent. You learn from their mistakes. You can move on from it. You can grow as a person from that. Yeah. Not even a parent, just like a grandma or something like that. You threw it. Right, right, right. It's like you never like think about like grateful things you're for. Well, again, it's just being ungrateful. Yeah, it's ungrateful, dude. Like I see that so much now. Well, I see like people oh so God. happy to get like a meal paid for them, and I see right. people, rich people getting a car, and they fucking hate it, and like wrong color, and they'll break wrong, it. Wrong model and shit. Yeah. That's fucking sad mm-hmm. if you think about it. Pe- like, wrong people have money, right. and right people have no money because right. like the situation they were put in by other people, mm-hmm. or they, they could have put, put in themselves. They could have put in themselves, you know. Yeah. Yeah. For, maybe it could have been doing for like a right thing too. Oh, not, not like, the right thing in the right wrong time. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you're doing, dude. That just sucks because you 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 feel happy with, about it like afterwards until that moment hits you where you realize, oh, maybe I should not have done that. And that you would have never known. You had no way of knowing before. That's no matter what, you would have done anyway. It's right. A trippy thought. You know? It's a trippy thought. Man. This is why I want to start a podcast, though, you know? I want to be able to talk like this and have people just be able to listen to my thoughts and have, be able to hear a conversation, you know? Because, like, I... And another thing is when you're having a podcast with someone else, right? You can't have a podcast by yourself. Like, you can. It's just... It's not the same, you know? But when you're having a podcast with someone else, you're literally just talking to someone else, having a regular conversation with someone, person-to-person, face-to-face, you know? And recording it, you know? and letting other people listen but ultimately that's still like that's still Good. it's still having an actual connection with someone you're spending time with real people talking with real conversations you know talking it's about just, like, you know, experiences people. and thoughts right right perspectives it's, it's, it's literally healthy because you're literally just getting to talk to you're being you're socializing yeah you're socializing is a good thing I, I would be able, love to be able to be rewarded for my healthiness <laughs> yeah that's a good thing I, f- I feel so much better than I did earlier. Right. And yesterday I was fucking... I was a little ticked off because my stream was fucking up at the end of it before I could really get into it because graphics card or something's wrong with my PC emulator. I don't know what it is, but... That's it. I know something's wrong with it and I'm not sure what to do to fix it or how I'm, if I'm going to be able to finish it now. No, that's a bit ticking me off, right? And then all of a sudden, next day comes, I'm like, it's okay because now I'm in this moment, you know? Yeah, because you're scared because you, you, you put exactly. dedication into this. Right, right. I put a whole lot of work into my streams, you know. Even my streams, right, they, when it's live, sometimes it'll have up to, like, maybe three viewers, two viewers. That's viewers. good. It's not bad. Right, that's not a bad thing, though. Like, I'm happy I remember when we had zero. I remember when we had zero. Right. I was fucking streaming with no one talking or no one watching. And you'd still talk, too. Yeah, I'd still talk, yeah. We'd, like, we'd get, like, one or two people in there. And we'd still talk to them and shit. Yeah, yeah. We didn't even know if they were like AFK. We didn't AFK. know if they were AFK, they were actually listening, if they were real people or what, but we still did. <laughs> so imagine like a foreign person just to be listening to the scream on Apex. Right, right. <laughs> like that's the thing, you know, like, it's, I, I, I'm moving up and that's what I'm trying to do and I'm hoping I can do that to such a wide scale in the future that it becomes something I can make a living off of because A, I, this is my lifelong dream since childhood. B, 
it'd be an awesome career. C, it, it's something I'm really passionate about. I put a lot of work into my streams. Every single time, you can ask my girlfriend, you can ask my best friend James, aka okay, my moderator and editor. We, he works very hard too on their shit, and he's helping me a lot with it. But he knows, like, I put a lot of work into my streams because it's something I genuinely want, you know? And I put a lot of money into this. I put... You generally see a future with it. Right, right. I want to have a future with it. And now I'm doing many different things. Not only am I doing live streams, but I'm posting the streams on my YouTube and an edited form in case the videos, the VODs are too long, you know? Or streaming just saying your thing, I have a YouTube one. And now I'm making a podcast, you know? And I've been considering making music too because I can do that with a PC. And I have this mic here now. I've been I'm trying to get something out of this because those are the things I I dreamed of. Yeah, too. Hmm. Did you hear that too? Yeah. Weird. That was weird. I wonder if I wonder if the street people. Probably not. That was fine. Yeah, I think I'm on. Uh, I think my consistency, like I'll work out for like a solid week, I feel great. Right. Then my resting comes around the weekend. Wow. And like, I'll take two days and I'll, like, ah, and I'll take you, one more day and then consistency is gone. Consistency is you don't want to start up. again. Yeah. Right, right. I I have a, a game on my VR headset called um, uh, Thrill of the Fight. And it's supposed to be not a simulator, but like it's real hard work. You know, it's like actual physical labor and shit that you're doing to do some boxing shit. It, it's it's a boxing game, you know, but it's, you get that real workout, you get that burn again, you know. And it's, yeah, it's and it's fun. a game too, so right. So that's what I've been using, and that's what I've been using to help me get in shape. But hey, if it works, it works. If don't, it don't. We'll see how it goes. So much streaming consistency is like everything. Right, especially but keeping up, like even if like your stream doesn't get any views, like that, something that was turning people off. That make people not want to yeah, do it anymore. Right. Like I'm not getting any views. I ain't going anywhere. Yeah. But you want to keep a good mindset. And consistency, that's the and best. And that's too. what I've been doing. Like when I was streaming on my, I was streaming on a PS Five. That is, and that sounds fine because it's a new console, but it's not easy because you miss so much like things. You know, you miss out on a lot of features you can't get with a PS Five that you need a PC for. And now I have that. But, like I was streaming on a PS Five every day. And if I want to reach Twitch affiliate, I literally need to stream like, I think it said five cons or unique weekdays, which I think I've gotten done now. Now I just need to get my followers up, and I need to. And get um kind of the other thing but i'm literally halfway done i'm working close on twitch there's like a lot of people like that are ungrateful for the followers right right and there's people like that with like like three followers like making the best podcast they can and other people are just sitting there like absorbing all of their attention not yeah. even ignoring them because because they think oh i'm already famous and i'm already rich i don't need a really do that and there's some nice people out there you know there's people that aren't like that right? hey, yeah yeah there's people happy to right, have right. That. Grateful. But there's so many people out there who are just like... Take it for granted. Yeah. I see. They, they thought it came easy, and they don't realize the amount of people who... Shed really tears, like... Yeah. Damn, why am I so fucking vainy right now? It's from those Katanas. Nah, it's from the fucking W. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, speaking of uh, people being ungrateful, I see... Uh, I was scrolling on Instagram, okay? And this girl says... Me one year ago starting a stream, uh, starting streams on Twitch, whatever, and then she the next one is a picture of her that now today, right? And it says, Me now stream are uh, still waiting for viewers because streaming as a female is easy. And she wrote that in quotes, saying basically saying, Because she's a female, uh, she still, even though she's a female, she still has to work as hard as any other man, right? That seems sensible, right? That seems fair. But it's not true. And I'm like, I'm curious, right? She says she's been streaming for a year now and she's been putting in work, right? And she's still waiting for all these fans and viewers, right? right. So I'm curious. I click on her bio and she's only had that Instagram account for five weeks. And now I'm extra curious. So you're telling me you've had uh, Twitch for a year and you've only had this Instagram for five weeks now? This, this is fishy. Did it have her like Twitch username? Right, it did. So I go on her Twitch. I can't remember her name, but I go on her Twitch. 500,000 uh, followers. Okay. And she's only had her stream or Twitch up for three months. In three months. She said know, a year though. Right, right. That's just, that's and, just like crap. Right. And all, and all that, right? All she's played 
is fucking Genshin Impact. And he was boring. All she does is have a giant fucking face cam. Just enough to show under her... Uh, her chest, her breasticles. Her, right, right. Above her belly button. Just barely. And then she plays fucking Genshin. The fucking geekiest game ever. Like, she's literally proving that by being a girl, she gets it fucking easy and gets all these fucking followers. I'm like, what the fuck? How are you going to make a post You're recording your chest how... playing a game. How is right. that hard? Well, not even that, but like, how are you going to make a post saying... You have no fans and you have no followers and whatever, and how being a girl is just uh, being a girl streamer is just as hard as being any other guy streamer, and then completely contradict that on your Twitch, you know? That that kind of ticked me off. So yeah, I can see why people are just ungrateful and like expect more, just because right. like they des- they think they deserve it. They, they don't work they, for it. They think they deserve it, even though they don't realize how much work, little how little work they've actually been putting into. Me, I make sure I try and get at least a stream in every day, except for days I can't, or days that I'm working on something else. Like today, I'm not streaming tonight, but I'm going. I'm making a podcast right now. Right, it's, it's um, being versatile. Work, right, I'm trying time. to evaluate my time equally and fairly and smart. And the days I'm not streaming, I'm working <coughs> on my YouTube. I'm helping my best friend edit. I'm helping with my. Um, I'm starting a podcast right here, right now. Spending time with loved ones. Right, right. I'm just. I'm just trying to just fucking living life. I'm right, exactly. And not even them. I fucking dedicated over, well over five hundred dollars into my streaming so far. I've been working very in time because you can't get that time back. So. Right, right, right. In time, lots of time, lots of fucking time. Well over patience. Fifteen hours. Well over fifteen hours worth of stream time just this week. That's impressive. I, I've been fucking putting a lot of work into it. You know? Yeah, that's something people I want. really like that. I think. Right. Like, people see how much, like, you care, mm-hmm. and they're like... Something that's been getting to me a little bit recently is, like, people will be talking about, like, how they're supporting me, and how they really want to see me grow and shit, and, like, they really want to see me do out well out there, but then they don't ever try and help me out, or they don't want, they don't ever sh- share my name, they don't ever, like, they don't try and tell other people about me, or they don't ever watch me, they don't follow me, whatever, but they, they're there saying, hey, when they're really supporting you here, then they're not doing anything. Like, I, I don't, I'm not saying you have to support me or whatever. I'm just not saying, like, as a friend, it's your job to support me and tell everyone about me. I'm just saying, don't tell me you're going to support me and tell not me you're going to be my yeah. friend about it. I've been, I've been putting work into it. I've been happy with it. I got a sponsor. Something yeah, that's a, right? that's, a, that's a stepping stone, bro. Right. I'm really fucking psyched about that. How many followers you got? Follow, I'm at 32 right now. That's 32 followers with a sponsor. Right, right. And That's now, 32 individuals. Exactly. And now I'm literally less than halfway to affiliate me. I can make actual Think about it. Like, that. 32 doesn't seem like a lot compared to other people, but mm-hmm. 32 people is like a fucking room full of people. Like, a, it's like yeah, three yeah, rooms. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's you think that's crazy. People. That's 32 just, different mindsets. Right. 32 different enjoyments. Yeah. my streams and shit. And Passions, too. Right, right. And that's super exciting. Yeah, that's super. That makes me really happy. They, they, they followed you, bro. Yeah, I follow you. Yeah, you follow me. You watch my streams and shit. You should go for them. Yeah. And they, they'll like your work, too. Yeah. They like your work. That's why they're watching you. In order to support you. Now, speaking of which, I'm not sure where I'm going to put this post out to. I'm not going to... Like, I'm not sure if I'm posting on my YouTube or making a Spotify post on. I don't know what I'm doing. We're starting with something here. <laughs> yeah, like... You know, like, consistency, like... You like if you start doing stuff like you'll think you have to like overdo the next one like if you like do something cool right, right, right. you think you have to do it again or even improve over, it or make over, it better over, over. make it better and better right, that's right, a right. bad thing cycle to go through right I'm not trying to do that I'm just trying same to- with like a loved one too like you'll do something and like that like you want to top that right you want to top it you want to top your next video you want you, wanna you wanna top your next stream yeah yeah. And that's not a good mindset to get into, especially because you're constantly demanding more of yourself. And then what are you gonna do when you realize there's nothing else? Just do what you love. Right. That's what right. I see. I'm just trying to play some games. Like yesterday, I didn't care if people fucking joined early or not to my stream because I just wanted to play my game. You know? And I was excited. About it. So, yeah, show them your knowledge of a game is fun. Right. Right. If they like that game, that's cool. Because they'll learn with you. Yeah, that's it. that's awesome as well. It's so. <laughs> a good way to think of things. Although it can, it can be hard to be able to just constantly sit down and just tell yourself, hey, you gotta stream now, or hey, you gotta stream this day. Never make plans for this. Sometimes you'll just get burnt out. Mm-hmm. 
but you still need to do it. Like, I'll be working out, and, like, I'll be laying in bed the next day, and I'll, like, I don't want to go. It's too much work. I don't feel like it. But if you don't go, someone else is going. Yeah. Someone else is going to take your position. Like, you, you see all these people. Like, people want what you want. Some, like, you don't know, but people, like, could, like, admire you. I feel like what people don't understand is a lot of People, like, some people kill to have what you have. Right, right, exactly. People, you don't ever realize that until it's happened. Like, you go, my life sucks, I hate my life, or whatever. Then, you're like, there's people that are going through worse things. Yeah, let's just take a trip for granted. Mm-hmm. It's a trippy thing, honestly. Life's fucking full of weird shit. And that's just one of the things. Life's full of possibilities. Right. Like, you never know, man. Yeah. Because one day, like, you like, be at your fullest. Next day, you be at your lowest. Because life's like a... It's a roller coaster. Roller coaster, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We call it a cliche, but it's, it's not wrong. Yeah. That's exactly what life is, because you got your ups and downs, and like sometimes you just go with the flow. Right. I wonder what the Ninja, Tur- the Ninja Turtles would be like if they, they, they were looking like Ghosts in Seven Stories. <laughs> huh. They were, just, they were just Ninja Turtles. You know? We're basically Ninja Turtles. Are we Ninja Turtles? We are. Me and you. Me, you, Taven, Cam. We're basically Ninja Turtles. Yeah, we're pet. Okay, not Cam. Not Cam. Cam is like. Cam is like a. Who's in this face? Not. The dude that wears the hockey mask? Casey? Yeah, Casey. <laughs> not really. I, I can see a Casey out of him. <laughs> I would say he's like a Raphael, but he's not mature. Right. Yo, mama. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when fart jokes used to be funny? Dude, fart jokes are still funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> We're really immature. Right, it's okay. That's okay. It's so funny. We're gonna bite. What moment. do you think happens when you die? I think about that a lot. And honestly, I realize no matter what happens after we die, it doesn't really matter because it's not like whatever we think about is gonna change it. So it's better just. If we sp- if we spend all of our time worrying about what's gonna happen to mo- uh, when we're gone, then we're never gonna have enough time to think enjoy about what we it. need to do. Enjoy life. Well, like think about it this way, right? If we spend all of our time worrying about what's gonna happen when it's over, we're not gonna have time to enjoy it while it's happening. Yeah, exactly. So just, it's better not to think about it, and not worry about it. Just- Living the moment, like right now. Think about that. I'm only 15. Right, right. That's crazy. You're only 16 too. Yeah, I'm only 16. I'm fucking putting in work. I'm putting shit on my stream. Getting a job. I'm fucking spending time with fam. Mm-hmm. Getting shit done. That's what it's about. You know one thing I despise? What's up? Lust. Lust is a fucking... Well, it's a sin. It's a sin, yeah. I'm up there for a reason, man. Some... Fuck, man. Lust is such a weird concept that's so... It's very frustrating, man. Lust like, very lustful people. Cause like, people just, like, skip their relationships. It makes them go through fucking hurt people. extremes for a feeling. It's no better than smoking a cigarette. Doing any drugs, because it's like... When you take when you take a drug, right? Right. You're you're harming your body and harming the people around you at the expense of a good feeling. Right. That's and then that's sad. lust is literally a drug. There's a no drug that you don't take, lust. you do. Right. You create it. You create it. I feel like if someone were to ask me what is lust, I'd say it's a drug that is constantly in everybody. I think drugs like everything, like dopamine. Right. Right. Dopamine. dopamine but it's happiness, though. Right, dopamine is still a good thing. It's a good drug. <laughs> it's just sometimes you don't want it, and sometimes you do, and sometimes when you don't want it at certain on certain things, it fucks you up. So. Yeah, that's a good thing to think about, though. Yeah. You ever did have a refreshing glass of dubby? I do. Yeah. I woke up. I, I didn't wake up because I actually didn't sleep tonight. On, uh, I couldn't help. This stuff actually made me feel better. I was yeah, like all yeah, hot yeah. and sweating. I feel way better. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't realize that. You just said it. But like, 
I was, we were all fucking hot and it was all humid and muggy. My throat feels a lot better too. Yeah, it's really nice. This is why I ripped tongue from, you know. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Not on the podcast. Yeah, that's not talking. Not on the podcast. Nah, that's it. You know, tongue kissing counts as like a pre sexual thing? Does it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Well, what is pre sexual? Something you do before you start. <laughs> Something, yeah, it doesn't, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something you do before you do the sexual. I think something that makes them more, like a person more horny. That's the, the yeah. feeling of another person's tugging your mouth. That sounds gross. <laughs> That's so <laughs> weird. Well, it depends on the context. Like, when it's in context of French kissing, it's like, oh yeah, I could, I get someone I love, like, I would like that. But then it's like, Someone else's tongue in your mouth because you took a bite out of stew and then that's what was in there. Ugh. Right, yeah, he's like, he has some tongue stew. Sorry, babe, I ate some good stew before we kissed <laughs> Imagine, imagine if she like fucking tore the tongue and shit and whatever. They fucking, you just kept on sucking and then the tongue just came out of your body. <laughs> oh shit! I just sucked my homie's tongue out. <laughs> What just happened? Because as soon as I said that, my music just stopped. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Bruh. <laughs> what is the actual shit? No, not the pizza! No, the pizza! That's no, okay. <laughs> Cameron will eat it. Let me find that one. We should talk about cleaning Cameron's room. <laughs> I cleaned it, man. The grandma, she was like, off. look at these blue. I didn't know you're collecting balloons, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> wow, why'd you, where'd you get these balloons from? <laughs> He's like, oh. Like, <laughs> Man. you ever just like watch a movie and like you just want to watch it again and again, and again until and again, it gets and again, boring and again. then? Yes, yeah, exactly. I remember watching movies for the first time or experiencing a game for the first time. Like, playing Elden Ring for the first time was fun, right? But then I've played it so many times, I know what the outcome is. I think if there's any game. I could re-experience for the first time again, it would probably be Breath of the Wild. That's a good choice. I really fucking love that game. That or Skyrim for me. That would be a good one. I, I also would really love to re-experience, um, what's it? Fucking... GTA? Not, not really GTA, never mind. It's, it's not story-driven enough for me, although that was a cool time in my life. But I think, um, Undertale, because it was such a weird experience. I was so hooked on it. It was so fun to me, yeah. But that's a Freddy. Oh yeah, but that's a Freddy's for sure, man. I love that so much. Remember how fun we used to talk about like Dude, we fucking played pretend finance at Freddy's, that was so cool. <laughs> Do you remember like we used to like be able to create anything with our minds? Like yeah. our imaginations were at the top. Are we turn peak. our guns and our, our arms into fucking guns? <laughs> All these crazy scenarios and shit. I remember running from nothing. We all just like, wait, we'd say something's like, like coming, we'd all run. Zombies are flooding the gates. Remember when we all would, like get like nerf guns and like toys shoot, and shit? We'd shoot down the hall pretending we're shitting fucking. No, we'd go outside and do that, the old pear tree with all the hornets and shit. Oh, and we'd fight yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, and we'd yeah. retreat back in the house. Yeah. And oh, like, yeah, the fucking like, what are they, the termites and shit? We'd whack the wood. And yeah, we'd <laughs> yeah. That was so fun. Dude, those are good things. Good days, good time. Climbing the fucking cherry tree. Oh yeah, the cherry was so cool. I remember the taste of those cherries. Me too. That's weird. Let me cherry flavored, Bubby. Um, I think that's galaxy. Now, but wrong. This one's uh, red and fruit though. I like that. That one's really good. I like that one. Yeah, I'm really happy with the fucking this one. It's not super. It's subtle but really sweet. Still. It's not really sweet. I think it's perfect. not super sweet. I think it's like like subtle but a sweet kind of subtle. You know, it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good, that's how you describe it. It reminds me of like the taste of victory. It's no, a taste of victory. It's not wrong. It's not wrong. Kinda reminds me of like it tastes like a haze to me. Like laying out in like a nice dream field, like a blue sky, fucking sunny. Just laying down. Dude, this is chill, I like this. I know, it's just fun. It's important. What if too. Dubby just cured my sickness? I think so. I feel they have a shit ton of vitamins in this bitch, so I wouldn't doubt it. Lord L Tarin, L Tyrosin, L Glutamine, Caffeine, Curtis, Citrulline, Neurofactor, Whole Coffee Fruit Extract, Coffee Ar- Arabica? Arabica? 
vitamin C, vitamin B3, vitamin B6. I have a shit ton of shit in here, man. I just, no, my sore throat's gone too. Yeah, I think it's actually helping, honestly. I'll try to think of like good flavors, like it'd be good, like. Right, right. I'd say all the time, I, I was in my uh, Discord. Blueberry before. raspberry, blueberry 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 raspberry,
Uh, a follow would be very much appreciated, especially if you made it this far. Uh, I plan on making more podcasts like this. Juju won't be here every time, sadly. I know, you guys are going to love to listen every single time I make a new podcast. But like, hey, who knows? Maybe I'll have one with my moderator, my best friend James. And maybe I'll have one with Cayman or Taven. You know? I don't know. That's the, that's the joy of podcasts. You never know what you're going to get. Teamwork. Teamwork. We're just playing Smash Bros. Kicking ass. We're just kicking ass. We're just kicking ass. That's the synergy. Yeah, that's what's so cool. We're fucking bomb at fucking Smash Bros. Yeah, I'll play that. We'll play it again. Yeah, we're gonna play that again. Right? I, get, I get to take a fat whiz. I just said whiz. <sighs> I need to take a fat piz. What? Dubby coursing through my veins. God damn! Oh shit! Dubby, what do you do to us? It's water too, so that's. This like... what happened to my hands too lately. My hands are not usually this veiny, dude. You like that baby girl with my veiny hands? <laughs> <laughs> Does that turn you on with my dynamite do dust on them? Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> <Damon. laughs> <laughs> He's like thousands of these like like this on his arm. Oh, <laughs> you know what'd be cool if he like made a painting of them. Or if you just got, if you got like a That'd be the of, perfect like, gift for him. You know what we could do? What? Get a bunch of those and like tape them together on the back of duct tape, right? So it's like one giant fucking thing of just a bunch of dynamite bags. And you <laughs> know, like, a, like a tapestry of dynamite bags. And if you hang on a He'd love that. Yeah. They sit on the floor, they could be art. That'd be sick. Nah, but like, for real. Uh, this is going to be the end of the podcast. And, and I'm going to see if I can get on my Spotify. If not, we'll figure some shit out. Maybe some like stream, other streaming service, man. Never know. Be better. Um, last thing. Fucking W, man. I really recommend you buy this shit. It's amazing. I fucking love. The- ten out of ten. For real. For ten real. out of ten. It's orgasmic in your mouth. It, it's literally like your mouth came. It's like pussy. If it was like powder. Pussy powder. Yeah, pussy powder. That's the Vagina flavor. <laughs> <laughs> that does not sound fucking good. Pink kitty. I'll, I'll, I'll have a chat with the, uh... <laughs> the, 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 the designer. Like a bubblegum, like, candy flavor. The higher Pink ups. kitty. Hey, we brought some. Nah, but... Or hey, Cocoa Butter keep Kisses. Out, keep an eye out on my YouTube. Keep an eye out on Spotify. And keep an eye out for the link in the description on YouTube. That's where I'm sure it's gonna be. Thank you guys all so much for listening. And hopefully, we'll see you in my next stream, YouTube video, or podcast. Bye. Peace out, everybody. Have a good day. Alright, be better. Be better. Be better. Be better.